And this one's take a look at factor negative 4x squared plus 2x plus 30. So the first thing to be observed is that whenever possible, you begin factoring by trying to pull out any common factors. So here, let's rewrite things as follows. I'm going to use a different color to emphasize some key points. I'm going to rewrite the 4 as negative 2. That 2x, remember, really means 2 times 1x. And the 30, I'm going to put as 2 times 15. So I want to emphasize that negative 2 as a common factor. So it's negative 2 times 2x plus 2 times x plus 2 times 15, just the way you see it. So now this factor that you see everywhere, the 2 can be pulled out. I want to really pull out negative 2 because when you factor, it's much better not to deal with negative coefficients on the leading term. That's uh, 2x squared there. So for that reason, when you factor a negative out, make sure you flip all of the signs in the expression. So what I mean by that is, once that negative 2 goes out, you put basically big brackets. And then when you put back the remaining terms like this, you put 2x squared. And then here, instead of now putting just x, you put minus x. And then here, instead of putting 15, you put negative 15. So when you factor that negative 2 out, flip all of the signs. And then to check that that is right, you can always just multiply the negative 2 back through each term inside the parentheses. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x squared, it checks. Negative 2 times negative x is positive 2x, it checks. Negative 2 times negative 15 is positive 30, it checks. So you can do that kind of factorization. Then after that, the next stage, you focus on the trinomial within the brackets. So in our case, I'm going to use the AC method. The AC method basically states the following, that when you do this part, you want to form this product, the 2 times the negative 15. So 2 times negative 15 here will give me negative 30. And then after that, I apply the following basic rules. Let me take in the writing so it's easier to see. And it has to say that I need two numbers multiplied together to be equal to negative 30. And then the same two numbers added together have to give me negative 1. That negative 1, where is that coming from? Let's be clear on that. Let me emphasize that point. This negative 1 right here that's coming because here in front of the x, you can always imagine there's a negative 1x. So the coefficient on x is negative 1. That's coming from there. This negative 30 you get from doing the 2 times the 15 negative. And then you look for two numbers that actually make this true. So in our case, let's think about this for a second. What two numbers can we think of? Well, negative 6 times 5 will give me negative 30, and also negative 6 plus 5 will give me negative 1. You see? So I know those are the two numbers. Once I have those two numbers, I can use them to rewrite the middle term. So that instead of writing now negative 1x, back in this trinomial within the brackets, I'm going to write it a little bit differently. I'm going to keep the negative 2 on the outside. So I'm going to split this into two panels. So negative 2 on the outside, and then within the brackets, I'm going to put the following, 2x squared, and the negative 1x back over here, I'm going to, we're going to be write as follows. I'll put as negative 6x plus 5x, and then here minus 15. How do I know that I should group the middle terms this way? Well, because I see that like 2 and 6 have a common factor, and the 5 and 15 have a common factor. If you try to group them the other way, you might not find a common factor, and that's it. So it won't work. What I want to do is just number the steps here, because it really makes that easy. So this is like step 1. Okay, this would be here like step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5, step 6. So at step 7, looks like this. So at step 8 now, let me pick back up. I'm going to have the following negative 2 on the outside, and then you factor from the 2x squared minus 6x, a common factor. So that could potentially look like this. I'm going to put 2x outside, and then what's left within the parentheses will be x minus 3. So, and that is so because, again, if I distribute the 2x back over the parentheses, it's going to give me 2x squared minus 6x. And then from the second one that says 5x minus 15, I'm going to factor into 5. And that leaves then x minus 3 within the second set of parentheses. So I know that I've grouped things the right way. Let me emphasize this key point because I have x minus 3 and x minus 3 in both of them. And then this 2x that I'm writing in green here with that 5 that I'm kind of tracing over in green are to be put together into a unit within parentheses. And x minus 3 will be the other unit within parentheses. So let me pick it back up here. So at step number 9, I'm going to have something that essentially looks like this. Take a look. Negative 2 on the outside, and then again, say bracket. 
I'm sticking the 2x plus 5 into a single set of parentheses. It looks like this, 2x plus 5. And then the x minus 3, that goes into a separate set of parentheses, so it becomes x minus 3 this way. And it looks like this. So this here, this form at step number 9, this would be considered <laughs> the answer, so to speak. And that is it. I hope it's been helpful. Leave a like. I'll see you in another video.